Hi everyone, Tara here, the Planner Llama, and I am showing you a cover that I made for my classic Happy Planner, and I'm also going to give you a glimpse to my monthly layout for December. And look at that, we officially have 23 days left until Christmas at the time of this filming. I will be planning for the week of December 2nd to the 8th. Now, let's get into the plan with me. I am using a kit and I'm sorry that my camera is bouncing. And this is from SV Creative and here are all the pages. This is a mix match kit as I got a bunch of grab sheets, so it's not necessarily for this particular planner layout but I will make it work and it will look great and her shop is all hand drawn currently on vacation but I wanted to use this kit anyway because I absolutely love the colors okay here I'm going to speed things up just a little bit and you can watch as I get my layout all figured out here I did try to talk through the video, however, I ended up coughing a lot because I am currently fighting a cold and a sinus infection at the same time. So last we spoke, we were looking forward to Black Friday sales and really oddly enough, we didn't do Black Friday sales like at all. We ended up doing what we call Red Thursday here in Canada and we got up really early. We weren't going to go to the store Canadian Tire, my sister and I, but we decided, you know what, we're up, we have a car, let's do this. And we went and we got some things that we wanted, only to find out that the store itself had already been previously open an hour earlier than what the internet had advertised. After that, we went for a little drive and decided that all the sales that we were going to hunt down on Black Friday were actually happening on Thursday. So we did a little bit of math and we figured if we quickly were able to steal my boyfriend's car, and by steal I mean gently borrow, <laughs> uh, we can run into the city, grab what we need, and be back in time for him to go to work. So we ended up doing that and we ended up going to Old Navy. And we got some dollar socks, plus the rest of the store was 50% off, so that was great. And then Carter's Children's Store, my sister had already gone. The only thing we really missed out on was standing in line in hopes of getting, like, coupons, discount codes, or gift cards to the shops. And really, we were already up and tired and tired dreading having to get up early again so we decided let the gift cards go to someone else because we were not going to try to get them this week i finally got my christmas tree put up and i was challenged to come up with a pug ornament theme and i did do some looking around for pug stuff animals because my boyfriend said It'd be funny if we had a pug tree for Pugmas, and I decided to take some of my polymer clay, and I will insert a photo here in the corner, and I made some ornaments. Now, they're not the best looking ornaments out there, but I gave it a shot. So our tree has a lot of pugs on it, and it also has some beautiful angel ornaments that his mom made us last year before she passed away. Our tree has been with us for 12 years now. 14 years we've actually owned the tree. 12 years it has been used and this year it was so badly damaged and the lights weren't working completely that we've decided that this is the last year we are going to have this tree. We've got it looking relatively good in shape wise there are some branches and wires that hang awkwardly but that just means buddy is going to use them as his perch to sit down we've even put buddy's little cardboard house 
under the tree because he likes to hide underneath there and the little house gives him a couple little bit of extra protection if you will so the craft sales have come to an end and everybody is now focusing on doing the christmas shopping i am happy to report that i'm almost done shopping for everyone unfortunately with the way that things are going i'm going to probably have to shop right up until christmas eve which is absolutely crazy but you have to do what you have to do So here I'm going back and I'm using some of the checklists and I'm trimming them down to size so that way they'll fit and I can put little notes in here. I'm looking forward to the upcoming weeks because I did get some great deals from a couple of planner shops on the Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals and I cannot wait for the items to come in so I can share them all with you. I did stick to a very small budget and I'm happy to say I did not go over it. I actually came underneath it, which was absolutely surprising to me. I did use a lot of the stickers from this kit. As you'll see, you'll see me flipping through and there'll be a lot of empty pages left over. I am still currently using my glass tabletop desk and the odd time I think you'll see Buddy running underneath there. His toy box is uh, actually, oh there's Buddy right there. Uh, <laughs> his toy box is right underneath the desk and he loves to be anywhere I am so it's perfect that he can see me and not actually be on top of the table in the way because he likes to be right on top of my planner, even while I'm writing on it. So here are all the sheets that I have left, and all the stickers, and this is my layout for the week of December 2nd to the 8th. And there's Mr. Buddy, and I had to get him to move off the table because he decided to sit there. Here's my layout and I wish you all happy planning. Goodbye!